Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I'd want to share with you all an important message that St. Michael the Archangel sent to Luz de Maria de Bonilla. Please take a time to share this video with others, as these lessons are unquestionably critical for God's people to hear and understand. We pray that these words will be shared and spread to the ends of the earth to the glory of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all things, including the discernment of these messages, as He is all-powerful or omnipotent, just as He is consubstantial with God the Father and God the Son, and with a great act of trust and love to the Holy Spirit, that He may give us the grace to discern these messages from heaven. Please join me in saying, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and the hearts of your kingdom with the fire of your love. They will be generated if you send forth your Spirit. And you will regenerate the earth's face. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful via the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations, but most of all to discern these messages. That we may always differentiate the truth from deception, and always glorify You through all of our works and actions. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria de Bonilla on May, 2022 On this feast day, beloved children of Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, I call you as the people of God to accept our Queen's call to pray the Holy Rosary, persevering in this act of faith, love, gratitude, and, at the same time, reparation for the offenses committed by this generation against our King and Lord Jesus Christ, as well as against our Queen and Mother. Humanity continues to stumble as a result of its domineering, internal babble, leaving behind order, peace, respect, neighborly love, charity, and forgiveness. Confusion has gripped mankind, which has raised its internal babble, inflating human egos to the point that their objectives are no longer ones of peace, but of dominance and power. Our Queen holds out her hand to the simple and humble of heart to those who love, in spirit and in truth, to those who, without petty interests, seek the common good without neglecting human beings who are burdened with sins and who, in repentance, seek forgiveness in order to save their souls. Our Queen and Mother wishes that all her children would be saved, which is why she goes among this humanity, moving hearts so that they would be softened. You need the food of the Eucharist. It is urgent that you receive the divine food with total reverence and properly prepared. This era and its events are putting you to the trial, therefore, beginning now, offer up, bless, pray, and sacrifice yourselves in reparation for sins and as an offering for your own conversion and the conversion of your brothers and sisters. Prepare to be firm in your faith, Our Lady's children, by holding the Holy Rosary in your hands. This is a turning point. Conflicts are spreading, and armies blinded by conquering ambition will advance regardless, they will desecrate churches, which will have to be destroyed so that they are no longer profaned, and mankind will be overtaken by agony and desolation. So nourish yourself with our King and Lord Jesus Christ's body and blood. Keep in mind that the Angel of Peace will arrive accompanied by our Queen. The sky will shine in announcement of such a great marvel of divine love, as men are unworthy of such a great act of love by the Eternal Father. The Angel of Peace is hope for those who persevere, protection for the humble and the oppressed, and shelter for the helpless. Be true children of our Queen and Mother, 
allow her to guide and intercede for each one of you so that under her protection you might resist with firm faith during the passage of the trial and so that you would not fall into the perversity of the Antichrist. As Prince of the Heavenly Troops, I warn you in order for you to develop in faith in light of the tribulations that mankind will undergo. Earthquakes will continue to be more powerful, please pray for those who may suffer as a result. Cherish and respect our Queen and Mother, she is the Mother of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. At this crucial moment in human history, the Most Holy Trinity has entrusted the protection of each of you to our Queen and Mother. Beloved, hold firmly to your faith while maintaining unity and fraternal love. That is how Christians should be acknowledged, in fraternal love. I protect and bless with my heavenly troops and my sword from on high. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Luz de Maria, Brothers and Sisters on this very special date for Christianity and with the tone of this appeal from our respected Saint Michael the Archangel, we are shown the urgency of remaining in a state of spiritual alertness, not out of fear, but working and acting within the divine will. Saint Michael invites us to go within ourselves, to the Tower of Babel of selfishness, jealousy, greed, resentment, in purposefully disregarding our Lord Jesus and our Queen and Mother, making it easier for the enemy of the soul to enter human people and force them to serve in his ranks. This is not a fantastic time. How many individuals are subject to the reality in which we live? It is heartbreaking to watch souls being lost as a result of the confusion generated by ideologies that have invaded the church and apathy in the face of evil. How many of God's children are unaware of what is to come and learn about it through ways that distort the truth? Brothers and sisters, Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima has already disclosed to us what we are currently suffering as mankind, we cannot conceal it just as we cannot hide the hope contained in her message, my Immaculate Heart will triumph in the end. Without losing faith in divine protection, maternal protection, and the protection of Saint Michael the Archangel and his heavenly legions, let us rise our voices and say, My God, I believe, adore, hope, and love you. I beg forgiveness for those who do not believe, worship, hope for, or love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask forgiveness for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask forgiveness for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him we humbly pray, and to thou O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God. Thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wandered through the world for the ruin of souls, Amen. O Glorious Prince, Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts. Guardian of Souls, when Creature of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor. You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection, to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored thy help, or sought the intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to thee do I come, 
before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time stay blessed and keep praying.